Hello everyone, welcome back to the kitchen table. Sorry it's getting messy again, isn't it? Never mind, it's been working kitchen table today. Uh, today on the kitchen table we're going to be talking about a little modification experiment on the Vision Plus to see if we can improve the satellite reception. But, that's a strange noise. Some building work's going on next door. But, you know, I need to get this done, so I'll just talk through the hammering. So, uh, before we go any further, those of you who know the channel well know that we always have a little beverage of choice before every, uh, every video. And at the beginning of this one, it's going to be uh, some neat vodka straight from the freezer. Cheers. Woo! Right, um, so, lots of people have been reporting that the Vision Plus is not particularly great at locking on to satellites. In fact, some people, if they're in a... Uh, kind of borderline satellite reception area are reporting that they don't get a lock at all. Uh, now one of the modifications that has been going around is to take the lid off uh, and to line the underside completely with a foil type substance. Obviously you need to make sure that it's insulated and everything else but um, uh, that seems to improve. Now the issue with that is one of potentially busting the warranty because you are adding something in. Uh, now as those of you who saw the uh, Q&A with DJI, um, you know, DJI's um, quite happy for people to open it up and do maintenance. That's not a problem because that's a good thing to do. What they uh, what they aren't so happy about doing is modifications, adding things that that aren't there from the factory because that is obviously potentially going to uh, to be a warranty issue. So I was wondering, as an experiment, if I could do a very small change that doesn't involve adding or taking away anything that's already in there to see if we can improve things. So, let's have a little bit of a look, see what's going on under here, shall we? Let me just unplug. So, for those of you who've not been, uh, not been in your Vision or your Vision Plus before, here it is. And so, basically you've got the flight controller, the NASA flight controller, this is the Vision Plus. This is, all, this is your Wi-Fi uh, transmitter module. And then this plug here that I've removed was where the GPS plugs in. Obviously you've got the speed controllers and the receivers and everything else under there. So, as you can see, underneath here, this is your GPS receiver unit, which obviously is looking skywards up through the shell. And this is the cable that comes out of it. And as you can see here, there is some shielding material. It's kind of sticky on one side and has some sandwiches of copper and if you can see those in there, the copper foil sandwiches. And because of this material covering, of course, it's going to be non-conductive. So if it touches anything, we're not going to have a short. So one of the things that um, I thought uh, some people have, have said is that they think a lot of the signal uh, or some of the signal loss is coming from this cable. So obviously by covering the whole thing with, uh, with foil, you're going to improve things. But I wondered if we could just do something with the cable without potentially busting the warranty. So... Let's go outside and have a little experiment. So here we are in the back garden um, using the exciting tripod. Thank you to the channel patrons for getting that. Um, and here we are. We've been switched on now for a good five minutes while I did some other stuff. And there you can see here. Let's get the glare out of the way. Look, five satellites, okay? Now I've left it there deliberately. I haven't done anything. So let's now do a little modification to see if it makes any difference. So as you can see, what I've done here is this was where the cable originally exited. I've just slit it further, peeled this back, and then fed it underneath the shielding and popped it out of this side. And I'll just put that back in place. Let's go and mount it up and see if that's made a difference. Well, what do you know? Look at that. We're now wavering between 6 and 7, but we've certainly got a lock, and now it seems to have stabilised at about 7. Uh, 7, 6, 7, 6. So in a notoriously bad area for reception anyway, I've managed to, just by moving that wire, get us a reasonable lock from no lock at all. Yeah, it's definitely stabilised now, hasn't it? So here we are again. So a... A relatively small but a significant increase because I went from not having a lock at all to definitely having a lock. Uh, the difference between four and five up to six and seven is you know crucial. 
we went from grey to blue. That is important. So I think this might be worth doing. Now that bottom part of my garden is a bit notorious. I've sometimes been not able to get any more than four in there. Sometimes it's fine with seven. I don't know why. Who knows? I've checked today. The K-index is two, so there's no solar radiation storms happening up there. So we should be fine. So it's just one of those things where it's a bad reception day. But doing that mod changed it. So let me show you what, what simply I did. I just got a, a craft knife, a sharp knife, an exacto knife, and slit this, because it was just a hole, it wasn't a full slit. Just slit it like that. And then, you just peel it away very carefully. You don't have to be too rough with it. And you can see, peeking out, that's the GPS module. We don't want to really touch that. We just want to take the cable from where it sits there, look. It's a little bit twisted, so just get it straight as you can. And then I'm going to feed it through the middle. Let's peel this back up. There we go. That's better. That's nice and straight. And out the other side. And then all I need to do is gently press this back into place. It's very tacky, but it does retain its stick. So there we go. So now what we have is identical to before, except instead of coming out there and having a long run, potentially going over the uh, close to the transmitter, the video transmitter and receiver, which I think is the culprit, we've now got a very short run that goes direct into the socket. Now the only thing you've got to be careful of if you've done this particular mod is that the run of cable is obviously very short and so uh, you know you're gonna to have to just pop it in and then line up the arms over the motors press it firmly home and then you can drop everything down and re-secure so I think if you are getting borderline satellite reception, or sometimes it's in and sometimes it's not, try that. Because in my opinion, and it is only my opinion, don't tell my word for it, I am not DJI, but in my opinion that does not affect any warranties because I haven't added a layer of foil, I haven't done anything except move the cable from outside the shield to under the shield. Now, you know, if you're at all concerned, obviously check with your DJI authorised representative or check with DJI themselves. But as I say, from my point of view, I think that's, uh, that's going to be fine. Uh, you have to decide on your, on your own whether you want to do that. Um, for me, worthwhile, because now uh, my standard vision and my P2 used to regularly get a good lock down there at that part of the garden. Not, not a fantastic one. Never used to see double-digit satellites, but certainly seven or eight. This one didn't out the box, and now it does. See, six, six to seven which I never fly for my back garden anyway, but that is a result. So well worth a try if you have, um, have borderline site reception. Um, if you want to see uh, how to actually go about opening the shell, I did a video a long time ago. It was on my original vision, but it stands for all of the Phantom 2 line. Then go and have a look at the video link up there. And there we go. Thank you very much indeed for watching. I hope that's proved useful. Um, like I said, I've said this before, don't be frightened of opening up your aircraft, even if it's just to check that after, certainly if you've had a prang or a crash, or you just want to regularly check that all the cables are set, put, pushed home and everything else. As, uh, as was mentioned on the, uh, on the Q&A I had with the DJI rep, and if you haven't seen that, let's put a link to that video down here. Um, then, you know, uh, DJI, as far as they're concerned, opening up the shell does not bust your warranty contrary to what people on the internet were saying. Um, doing stuff, adding bits and pieces that are not part of the, uh, the DJI uh, product line would be. So um, don't be afraid of it. Have a look in there, double check it. And um, if you have got issues, I hope that helps you. See you next time here on The Kitchen Table. Cheers.